Hey guys, so today's video is really really random, but let's be honest, when are they not? So in today's video I, I just had this idea and I'm gonna roll with it, and I thought of my top five irrational fears slash phobias. So I know that a lot of people have phobias and fears, but uh, quite a lot of them are quite common or quite generic, such as a fear of flying, a fear of heights, um, although I don't believe in a fear of heights, I think it's a fear of falling, um, a fear of water, drowning, you know, things like that, a fear of spiders is a huge one. Um, and I do have some rational fears, but I do have a lot of irrational fears as well, fears that I don't know really where they've come from and that a lot of people would think, why on earth are you scared of that kind of thing? Um, so I'm gonna just tell you my top five irrational fears and phobias and what I'd love for you guys to do, if you feel confident enough or if you would like to, is to write down one fear that you have that is not a typical generic one, that is something that you think everybody else wouldn't be scared of because obviously like I said spiders and flying and things like that are quite common I want to know if you guys have got any phobias that are a little bit out there a little bit crazy a little bit weird that other people are you know not afraid of at all so we'll start at number five and like I said these are very strange phobias and irrational fears number five is wooden objects so I'm not terrified of looking at wooden objects but I can't touch them so for example, the most common example for me is a lollipop. So the wooden lollipop stick, I can't have it in my mouth, I can't have it in my fingers, I just can't touch wooden sticks. I know that's so weird. Um, but anything, because the doc, when I used to go to the doctors, they have these wooden sticks that they use in your mouth, you know, to check things out, and I couldn't do it. I, I you know, gip or whatever the common phrase is when you like that kind of thing with the wooden stick and they had to change it to plastic because I just couldn't do it. Um, similarly in fish and chip shops, wooden forks, I cannot use wooden forks. I have a small supply of plastic forks um, and I will take a plastic fork out with me in case the fish and chip shop I'm going to does not have a plastic fork. Things like that. So it's a very weird, very irrational phobia. I don't know where it's come from. I did google it and there is a phobia called textrophobia, which is textures. So people have it with plastic, metal, wood, all sorts of things. So while it's not a common phobia, it does exist. In fact, all of my irrational fears, I believe, do exist in one form or another and someone else on the planet will have them. But yeah, it's just wooden wooden objects. I don't know, I can't touch them, which is difficult for Harry Potter ones because a lot of the ones that you can get are wooden, so that is difficult. Um, but anything wooden uh, uh, or, you know, I just can't touch it and I can't have it in my mouth, it's just very, very weird and very strange. So coming in at number four, another completely irrational fear is thunder. So I know a lot of people are scared of lightning. I I'm not bothered about lightning. Lightning does not bother me. I know a lot of people are frightened that lightning will hit their house or whatever. It doesn't bother me. It's thunder that I'm frightened of. The sound, I just don't like it. Um, I just freak out at thunder and there's absolutely no reason at all. As a child, I used to run into my parents' bedroom and hide under the covers with them because I just hated thunder. And um, a lot of people think that a fear of thunder and lightning go hand in hand, but I've never been bothered about lightning. In fact, I think lightning is beautiful and I look out the window, but it's the sound of thunder, the thunder claps, that just really scare me. I do have anxiety as well, and I don't know if this is to do with it, but my heart, when thunder happens, just pounds ten to the dozen. I just hate thunder. So, coming in at number three is beards. <laughs> yes, I do have a phobia of beards. Now, I don't mind if you have a beard, or, you know, kind of moustaches as well, but mostly beards. If you have a beard, that's fine, I'm not gonna judge you. I'm not gonna not go and talk to someone that has a beard. I work in retail, I can't refuse to serve people with beards. So I'm not bothered if you have a beard, but it just can't touch me. So I could not go out with a guy who has facial hair, because of kissing and cuddling and things like that, I couldn't have a beard to touch me. Um, stubble freaks me out, I don't like it. It's weird because other facial, not other facial hair, other bodily hair, I'm not so bothered about, such as chest hair or, you know, hair anywhere. I'm not so bothered about that. It's just facial hair, freaks me out. So my dad has always had a moustache, always. And obviously, I... I kind of like, I know it's awful, but when he kisses me on the cheek to say goodbye or hugs me to say goodbye or whatever, 
I freak out because I just don't, so he doesn't, he, he hugs me now but he won't kiss me on the cheek because he knows that I just freak out with facial hair, I just don't like it. Very strange phobia, but there you go. So I wouldn't date someone with a beard and I know that sounds very judgmental, but I mean, guys have actually shaved their beards for me, so, <laughs> you know, I just can't do it. So, coming in at number two is another kind of irrational fear, but I guess it's one of the most common on my list, and that is flies. I am terrified of flies, especially those big ass ones that like whack into your curtains and whack into the lights and oh I just I'm frightened of flies so I don't particularly like anything with wings to be honest I'm not a big fan of birds I'm not a huge fan of bees or wasps or I mean butterflies are okay I'm not a huge fan of moths anything with wings really I don't tend to go near but for some reason you'd expect a bee phobia or a wasp phobia to be more common. I'm actually more scared of flies. I would rather be in a room with bees than in a room with flies, which is very, very strange because a fly is not going to hurt me, but I'm just terrified of them. I don't know why. I've just always been scared of flies. Then we've got an honourable mention actually, which I've just thought about. It is a top five, but I'm gonna stick in a quick honourable mention. That is artificial screaming. So what I'm talking about here is films that feature screaming that you can tell it's artificial. Um, ghost trains in particular or, you know, haunted houses or any sort of train haunted thing at a theme park when you can hear a fake scream that's clearly a fake scream. It's actually, this sounds really daft, but it's actually one of my mental health triggers, artificial screaming. Uh, I can't go into haunted houses, I can't go into um, ghost trains and things like that because, purely because of the artificial screaming. The jump scares don't bother me, they don't scare me. It's just when I can tell a scream is fake, I don't know, I just, I just panic and I don't know why. So artificial screaming is an honourable mention. I thought about that when I was talking about thunder. I guess maybe it's related, I don't know. And then number one, if you know me well, you'll know what my number one irrational fear is, and that is frogs and toads. I, It's not even a case because people dislike certain animals. Some people don't like dogs, some people don't like cats. It's not a case that I don't like them. It's a case that I physically cannot see one. I cannot be in a room with one. Um, a good example, me and my dad watch Pointless a lot, you know, the television series Pointless, and they sometimes do animal rounds with pictures. I have to physically do that and look away and ask dad if I can look at the telly for the picture to play along, because if it's a frog or a toad picture, I can't even look at a picture. I refuse to write to David Attenborough because he sometimes sends out photos holding a frog and I won't have that. And it's difficult being into Harry Potter and witchcraft kind of because toads and frogs feature prominently in that kind of area so for harry potter you've got trevor the toad you know there's a, a frog toad choir so it's a very difficult phobia to have especially when i want to complete like a harry potter plush collection and i have to get trevor and a chocolate frog to do that so <laughs> it is a very very difficult phobia actually and um i guess there's a few places where this could have come from. So when I was a child, because I live quite near a park with a pond, that's another thing, I can't go near ponds, which is which is upsetting because I love nature, but uh, I actually fell into a pond when I was a child. Um, so, and that pond does have frogs in it, as do a lot. So I think that could be another reason. And another reason is um, frogs are quite commonly roadkill. So, um, years ago, a few years ago, one of my friends, before they knew I had this phobia, actually kicked a dead frog at me and it hit me square in the face. So that probably didn't help for the frog fear. But it's, you know, little things like, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. I can't watch half of the Bush Tucker trials because it involves frogs. And I couldn't even go and do I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Because even if it wasn't a trial with a frog, there's frogs in camp that, that, ugh. So, it's, it's just things how you think a frog and toad phobia would not affect you in real life, but it does. I can't go to somebody's house if they own a frog. Um, so I just hate them. And I know it's not the frogs and toads' fault. And the funny thing is, my one and two fears are frogs and toads and flies. 
if we didn't have frogs, I'd be overrun with flies because frogs kill flies. So really my two phobias go hand in hand in that respect. Can't have one without the other. So yeah, that's my top five slash six irrational fears and phobias. I know it's a very, very strange video, but I just had the idea to do it. So I've decided to just do it for you guys. So like I said, please let me know in the comments if you have a fear or a phobia that you would consider irrational, you would consider uncommon, you would think that not many people have this phobia. Because I know a lot of people will say, like I said, I'm scared of heights, I'm scared of drowning, I'm scared of, you know, this, that and the other. But I believe they are common phobias. So what I really want to know is the ones that you think are a little bit, a little bit underground, a little bit not, you know, not normal. Not normal, but you know what I mean. Of course they're normal if they scare you. So that is it. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. I will be getting back to more fandom related content very, very soon. And I will see you on Wednesday. Bye bye.